We are now connected with our very own reporter, Shara Mediana, and video journalist Reza, Reza Anindita. Shara, what do you have for us? Hi, good afternoon, everyone. So, uh, yeah, I am at the Nusantara 5 building in the complex of the House, uh, House uh, Parliament of Representatives of Indonesia. And uh, we discuss several issues. The Y20 summit uh, begin around, thir around 3, 3.30 this afternoon. And the opening ceremony itself was opened by the Foreign Ministry of Indonesia, uh, Mrs. Retno Marsudi, and also uh, uh, another, uh, the co-chair of the Y20 also was, were there, obviously. And then the, um, wait a minute, yeah. And yeah, the, there's also Putri Ar, Ar Arreta Komarudin as the member of the parliament uh, to represent the House Representative of the Republic of Indonesia, obviously. So, uh, yeah, the meeting or the summit is today. And then, as you said earlier, there are four main issues that were discussed uh, or displayed today. The first one is the youth, uh, the youth employment the sustainable and livable planet, digital transformation and diversity and inclusion. Uh, because the theme itself for the Y20 summit this year would be the recovery to resilience, building the youth agenda beyond COVID-19. So as, you, as we all know, I guess the COVID-19 itself, uh, the impact of the COVID-19 is still very severe, uh, especially for the youth as well. Uh, and then the geopolitical situation and attention, uh, the uneven growth of the economy as well post COVID or you know, during this COVID-19 is still quite severe. And these young leaders or young delegates uh, from the 80, uh, there are around 80 delegates from the G20 uh, member, they want to resolve that issue and they want to address the issue to the people that could actually create a policy and regulation and ensure that they are with the youth, for the youth, and um, they are uh, supporting the uh, development and the agenda for the better future. And uh, there, uh, there was something that the co-chair of the Y20 said, the Victor Sianipar, Michael Victor Sianipar, he said that uh, he also, the main focus of this Y20 2022 is also celebrating the diversity of the world and working cohesively to solve youth problems. Uh, that's what he said. And uh, what it actually really means is that because, uh, you know, how to solve this world problem is definitely to gather all of those youth together and try to have a fruitful discussion and try to find a, an action, like a workable solution that can be break down into real action in the future. And uh, this in line as well with the, um, with the speech that Putri uh, Aneta said, uh, she as the uh, parliament member, she's a youth parliament member as well in the House Representative of Republic of Indonesia, and she want to encourage the uh, youth a parliament member to participate in politics, to actively participate in politics, because by um, you know, endorsing the youth or open a, an, a bigger opportunity for the youth to become the young uh, member of parliament, uh, the youth can actually represent the other youth of Indonesia and create a policy that, or legislation that could actually, uh, they could legislate uh, the rules and policy that is, uh, that could, um, you know, support the youth in the future. And that's also what uh, the foreign minister, the minister of foreign affairs, uh, Ratno Masudi also said, she said almost the same thing. And she also wanted to, um, I guess empowering the youth more in um, in helping to solve the world problems, especially uh, to issues that are very um, 
they're very unique to youth, I guess, such as the digital transformation and the uh, energy transformation. That's something that Retno Masudi uh, is hoping can be, uh, can be solved by this Y20 summit. And then uh, I actually did spoke with several delegates on the digital transformation um, uh, department, and they uh, they were they were very uh, they were very happy that actually they hard work are heard and seen by the foreign ministry, uh, and then they hope that you know all of those uh, motion I guess and action that they are already assembled can become a recommendation uh, further for the uh, House representative uh, and then, uh, uh, you know, and then they said that they are very um, excited to see the outcome from uh, their discussion. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Shara, for uh, the update from the Y20 Summit happening in Jakarta.